Hello, today we're going to be taking a quick look at Ubuntu 11.04's Beta 2. Beta 2 was officially released on April 14th, which is, as of right now, one day ago. By the time you see this, maybe a little bit longer. And there are not a whole lot of changes, there are a lot of cosmetic changes, and the reason they're calling this a beta instead of a release candidate, and this is the final beta, is because in the next two weeks, the last two weeks of this development cycle, they intend there to be a lot more changes, so they don't want to call this a release candidate because there will be enough changes between now and the final release that this is not anywhere near what it will be then. But as far as the changes that do come with this Beta 2, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. Uh, one of the biggest changes, I guess you would say, is now you've got overlay scroll bars. Uh, not in all of the applications, though. So one of the easiest ways to see it, i found, is to go to the Home folder, go to your Nautilus, wherever. If you've got a long list of files, which I've found the easiest way to get to would be to go to the Lib folder, you'll see there you don't have the normal scroll bar on the right-hand side now. If you mouse over near it though, you see that popped up. You've got an up and a down arrow you can use to go one page at a time, or you can click on it and drag to go up and down very easily. Uh, I noticed though the first time I loaded this up that did take a little while to show up. It didn't immediately pop up like it is right now. But still, it's uh, it's definitely a nice change. I, I don't know, I don't know. It's one of those changes where it's like, was it really necessary or not? Uh, that's going to be left entirely up to the end user, I say. However, these do not work in all applications. Things like Firefox definitely still don't support it. But hopefully in the future, hopefully before the release, this will work with everything. Another semi-minor change, when you click on the launcher button now, the upper left-hand corner of the Ubuntu button, the dash comes out just like it did before, but the icons now go gray. They don't stay the normal colors they were before. Uh, one of the other interesting features along with that that I've noticed, and I don't think this was available in Beta 1, if you drag items out to the bar now, they you can actually drag them to the, the launcher. So, you see I drug that out just as you would expect it to work, but has not up until this point. So very nice to have that there. And you see it's already keep in launcher, it's going to be staying there after you reboot. If you do want to remove something you've put there though, of course, pull it out and down, and into the trash can it goes away. Now most of the rest of the changes that I've noticed are in Compass itself. If you go down to the Grid plugin, let's go ahead and get there, Grid plugin, they've changed a couple of things. They've uh, given it some animations. I don't think the animations are actually changeable within here. Uh, however, if we pull a window over to the side like we were before with the Grid plugin, uh, you'll see this odd animation. See how that kind of grows bigger and smaller now? You've got that orange animation there. Uh, again, it's polish, it's not really function there, but, you know, that's, that's if it's the way they want it, awesome. Drag it up to the top, you should get the similar thing. Uh, yeah, you see that slowly pops out. It's it's nice, I don't know how useful it is, but yeah, I mean, if, if that's the way they want it, cool. One of the other things that has been mentioned, I don't know how um, worth mentioning it is, the panel now has a drop shadow. Uh, I've noticed a lot of the windows also have a drop shadow, but I think that's just Compass being Compass. One of the other items in the Compass Config Settings Manager that has been changed, if you go into the Unity plugin, you see here we've got the Reveal Mode now. And if I click on that, we've got the different places we can go to reveal the launcher. Uh, however, I have not gotten this to work appropriately, I guess. I, what I need to do, I think, is try to set it to Auto Hide. And now, in theory, if I go to the left, it should automatically reveal. But, uh... There we go. So it is working as designed. Much in the same way if you set any of the other corners, any of the other sides, in theory it should pull that out. Let's go ahead and put it at the top left corner, and then we'll go up there for just a second. Yeah, it pulled it right out. Uh, that one's a little bit uh, daunting though, because if you mouse over the, uh, the Ubuntu icon, it goes ahead and pulls it out anyway. So. Anyway, it is definitely a change. Uh, whether or not it's going to be useful for people remains to be seen but it is one way of making it a little bit more user-friendly. You can just mouse over the side for a second and it does pop out, whereas before it was a little bit, I guess, odd for people to, to think you have to come up here to try to find the launcher. Anyway, other than that, they've made some changes to the theme. They've made the black border a little bit more obvious in some places. You can now turn the desktop cube back on. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Let's see if I disable the desktop wall. Nope, that's not going to work. 
but that's just one of the things I've read about. Compass Cube can be enabled again. Basically, this Beta 2 is just a lot of minor changes, a lot of uh, Unity-specific tweaks, some slightly more updated software. The kernel has been updated to 2638 final, and I think it's 2638.2 if I'm correct there. Other than that, just mainly stability and functionality. Uh, one thing I did notice running this in VirtualBox, after I do the updates, after I've got the Beta 2 installed, it breaks it. <laughs> so if you are running this in a VirtualBox, be leery. Don't immediately update. Maybe do a little bit of reading first. I'm going to be reading up on it to try to figure out what's going on. However, I have been running this on my laptop since Beta 1, have had no problems with it. Functionality has been great. I'm running on an Intel card there, so that's part of the reason. Uh, but in terms of performance, it is performing admirably, so I can't complain. I really look forward to seeing the final release in a couple of weeks. I'll probably be taking a look at the Kubuntu, maybe a couple of other releases of it, just because I haven't really done that in the past. Let me know which ones you'd like to see down in the comments below, and I'll try to take a look at them. As always, though, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything I missed, of course, in the comments below as well. And I will see you next time.